How to start using the law of attraction? This episode is about law of attraction. Hello and welcome to the new episode of Transformational Tuesday. This is Awesome Meze, your mentor, guide and coach in your personal transformation. And this episode is about law of attraction. Yes, law of attraction, the most powerful, the most magical law in the universe. And that's always working. And then in this episode, I am talking about how you can start using the law of attraction. It's a kind of a beginner's guide. And I know most of you know about the law of attraction. Most of you are using the law of attraction, but only knowing is not going to help you out. And this is something kind of a basic video for for the people, how they can start using the law of attraction. And why I have created this video, because I keep getting emails. I keep getting emails where people ask me, like, AJ, I know about law of attraction, but it's not working for me or I'm not getting my dreams or I'm not getting the kind of desire or the success that I want. Why the law of attraction is not working for me? And one of the key reason is, first thing you need to understand, knowing is not everything. Only when you know how to use it, how to apply, how to keep your vibration high so that manifestation started happening. That's the key. And that's why I've created this video. So even if you know about the law of attraction for like five years, 10 years, but if you are not getting any result that you desire, if you are not able to manifest your dream, then this video is for you because you are not knowing how to apply it. You are not knowing how to take yourself that level where you can get aligned with the universe, get aligned with the law of attraction so that you can start getting more and more positive results because the law of attraction is always working. Either it is working in a positive way or in a negative way. It depends upon the vibration that you have, the way you feel, the way you think, the way you do things. That's how you are getting result. So the right way of using the law of attraction in your advantage is to raise your vibration high, to feel more positive, to do it with magical way. And that's why, that's why this video is going to help you out. And that is why I created this video. And I'm going to give you only five simple steps. This five simple step, if you start applying, you started seeing massive change in your journey. You started getting manifestation. You started seeing massive things started happening in your life. So there are only five steps you start using in applying the law of attraction, the way you are living your dreams, the way you are focusing on your desire so that manifestation started happening super fast. So let's dive into the law of attraction, how you can use the law of attraction in your advantage and five simple steps. Step number one, make a list of your dream. Yes, make a list of your dream. Write down your dreams. Take some time when you feel positive and take your journal or take your notebook, laptop or your phone and think about all the major goals and dreams in your life. Think about them and write them down. Write them down like I am achieving, I am manifesting, I am becoming. Like that, write your dreams. Now, this seems very simple, but you know what? 90% people never write their dream in all through their life. They never ever write their dream. So the first level of journey is first you should write your dream because when you write your dream, you put more energy in the universe. You put more magnetic power for manifestation. You register your dream clearly in your subconscious mind. Because till the time you are not writing, you are thinking, okay, I desire to have more money. I desire to have my dream job. I desire to have my magical soulmate. I desire to have my business success. But it's kind of, kind of a wishful thinking. It's kind of a, a vague idea. You are not putting the clarity and clarity is power. So when you start writing your dreams, that's when you get the clarity. Okay, I want my dream job, but what kind of dream job I desire? I want my business to succeed, but what is that first level of success that I desire? I want to make more money, but how much more money? Or what is the next level of financial gain that I desire? And that's when clarity comes. So first step is make a list of your dream. Write down your dreams and try to be as much, bring as much clarity as possible. Be clear, ask yourself, take some time and think about what do I really desire and write it down. 
because it's your dream and you should take time in writing your dream then the step 2 and this is very vital this is very vital try to feel as much positive and happy as you can all through the day yes this is the key try to feel as much happy and positive all through the day now you must be thinking like is a how can i stay positive all through the day and my question is how can you stay negative all through the day yes if you can stay negative all through the day if you feel po- negative sad depressed anxiety anxious angry all these are emotions negative emotions same way feeling happy positive excited blissful magical are also emotions positive emotions why you are feeling negative because your focus is only on the negative things but even if you have big dreams no matter what kind of dreams you have but if you just set your dreams but you keep feeling negative all through the day then your magnetic power your attraction is only on the negative things so more and more negative things will flow into your life even if you have magical beautiful big dreams but only on the only those things comes into your life with you which you don't desire and all the negative things happen and you wonder like i know the law of attraction i have big dreams but why all the things that i don't want happening in my life why all the negative things coming into my life because you are feeling negative most of the time that is why try to focus on feeling more and more and more happy and positive all through the day it may be little difficult in the beginning you may not be able to feel 24/7 positive and happy all through the day it's fine it's fine absolutely nothing wrong with that just start getting better the more you focus the more you get better if you are feeling at this point feeling 95% of the day feeling negative or sad or unhappy or any kind of negativity then once you started focusing it get 5% better it get 10% better it get 20% better but with time magically your vibration will go high the more your vibration will become positive the manifestation will start happening super fast super 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 fast now you must be wondering okay is it i i got it i have to feel positive and happy but i am surrounded by so much of negative situation people and situation environment i'm struggling and i don't have anything good in my life so how can i tr- stay positive and happy most of the time and the secret is in our, our third point and the secret the third point is practice gratitude yes gratitude is the simplest way simplest way to feel more positive and happy in your life gratitude that's the third point start practicing gratitude every single day and how gratitude will help you stay positive and happy because gratitude is about finding whatever good things happening in your life whatever good existing in your life so you you might be having 10 bad relationships and all those 10 bad relationships always making you feel angry sad and unhappy or maybe you are going through a broken relationship and you keep thinking oh this person doesn't love me or this person doesn't like me and now i don't know how i can make this relationship fine and your focus is only on that one or two relationship which is going wrong but at the same time if you look at into your life there are five other relations which are really great maybe there are best friend who always wanted to help you maybe your parents who always wanted to encourage you maybe you have teacher teachers or mentors or guide who are always helping you so there are good relations good relationships in your life but you are not focusing on them when you started focusing on whatever good existing in your life and be grateful all those things which are not good that's all those things also started changing in your life same way let's suppose you are receive you are getting a uh, salary that you are not happy with you feel that you deserve a bigger job with more salary with more money but till the time you will be hating and and finding problem in the salary that you are get, getting then the then the law of attraction is working on to bring more and more negative situation which will which will take you all the money that you have so what you have to do okay i want more money but let me be grateful for whatever money coming into my life let me be grateful once you started being grateful you feel positive when you feel positive your dreams will come true so that is why gratitude helps us to feel more positive feel more happy feel more magical in our life that is why every day the third step start practicing gratitude and start finding whatever good things existing in life now you might be thinking like is it 
how I'm going to practice gratitude. That's when we come to our fourth point. The fourth point is every day write at least 10 things you are blessed for or 10 blessings that you have. Maybe you can write in the morning or if you don't have time in the morning, you can write at night before going to sleep. And this is the, this is the first practice that we do in our 28 Magical Practice program. Write 10 blessings, 10 points, 10 things, 10 people or 10 points that you are blessed for. So this is how you practice gratitude. So when you wake up in the morning, take your journal or take a notebook or even you can take your uh, laptop or tablet or even your phone and ask yourself, no matter what is going in my life, what are the 10 things I'm ble blessed with? What are the 10 good things? First thing, you are alive. That's the greatest blessing. Then you, you, you may be working in a job which is paying your salary and then which is because of that you are able to take care of your family. You can able to pay your bills. So you can be grateful for that. Then you can be grateful for having a job. Even if it's not a great job, then you still having a job. You are at least not unemployed. If you are unemployed and looking for a job, then you should be grateful for having a college degree so that at least you have a degree or a certification which makes you eligible for getting a job. You may not got the job, but you can get the job. If you are studying in a college or school, then you can be grateful that your parents has made it possible that you are studying, you are learning something so that you can build a career. If you are going through many difficult relationships, then at least you should find what are the relationships that are good in your life. Who are the people supporting you? Who are the people helping you? If you are going through some health issues, then you can write like, okay, I'm going through this health issue, but I'm still alive. I still have this mind, body and soul. So till the time I'm alive means there is a possibility of healing myself. So like this, you can find all the things that you are grateful for, all the things that you are blessed with. At least you can count 10. Sometimes you can count beyond that also. So the fourth point is write at least 10 points you are blessed with, 10 things, people or situations that you are blessed with. That's the fourth point. Fourth point. And then the fifth point is, and this is again a very key and a, a, a vital point. Make a habit of reading at least something inspirational every single day. Yes, this is key. Make a habit of reading something inspirational every single day. Maybe reading an inspirational book, maybe reading an inspirational article, or you can check our blog, awesomeasy.com. We have more than 250 plus positive, positive articles. So read something positive every single day. So that what happened, it will keep you in the positive flow. Many a times people got to know about the law of attraction from uh, the secret book or from the think and grow rich book or from many other books or, or movies. But then what happened? They try to manifest their dream, but their vibration go down. They don't stay motivated all through the journey. So to stay motivated is to keep reminding yourself on, uh, to keep reminding yourself to focus on the right thing. You have to keep reading something on a regular basis. Make it a habit. That's why they said all the great leaders are great readers. Why do they say that? Because all the great, great leaders, they always stay motivated, they always stay focused, they always feel extremely positive about their dreams and about their journey. And how they stay positive and, and motivated about their journey? Because they read every single day. They read something inspirational. They read something positive every single day. So they stay motivated. They keep getting the guidance. They keep believing in their dreams. They keep getting more and more insight. So every single day make a habit of reading something positive every single day. And we have tons of articles on our blog. You can read every single day one or two articles. And what I would suggest, you should read at least one article in the morning, maybe while uh, on the way to your office or after reaching your office or while having coffee, just read an article which will kickstart your day, give you the motivation, give you the drive to start your day. Then read another article before going to sleep at night because at night usually negative things, all the negative thoughts, all the worry, all the negativity, all the sadness try to jump inside your mind because most of the people feel negative before going to sleep. And if you go to sleep while feeling negative, it's difficult for you to achieve your dream. It's difficult for you to wake up with energy, freshness in the morning. 
So read something positive before going to sleep, which will give you the possibilities, which will give you the faith, the belief, the, the motivation in you that yes, you can do it. And if you follow these five simple steps, start following these five simple steps and then see how you get aligned with the law of attraction. Then see how manifestation started happening in your life. Then see how magical things started happening in your life. You have all the power. You have all the drive. You have all the gifts to live a happy, successful, magical, loving, phenomenal, and amazing life and abundant life. But you have to align yourself and follow these five simple steps to get aligned. Step number one, write your dreams, make a dream list. Step number two, focus on being happy and positive as much as you can every single day. Step number three, start practicing gratitude. Step number four, write at least 10 blessings every single day. Step number five, read something inspirational every single day. If you follow these five points, if you follow these five steps, these five rules, then you see how you get aligned with the law of attraction and manifestation started happening magically. I'm sure you love this video. So do share this video with people around you. Give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions in the comment section, we'll be making more and more videos on the topic of law of attraction, personal development, subconscious mind programming, and we are committed to help you in your journey. You are watching Transformational Tuesday. You can join my 21 days law of attraction free program and we have the link in the uh, in the description section you can go there and join our program thank you thank you thank you and don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we are creating more and more magical videos to help you in your journey and remember you are awesome stay motivated stay awesome thank you thank you thank you